Hello everybody. Today I'll tell you how um show you how to install and use a Nintendo 64 emulator. We'll be using Project 64. So let's start by going to the emulator zone. And um I already picked it out. It's Project 64, one of the most popular emulators for Nintendo 64 out there. So let's start by downloading it, clicking the first link, Project 64 1.6, and I previously downloaded it, but Let's open it up and install it. I'll provide the link in the description. Yeah, it's probably easier to do it from here. So I'll be right back when it's done installing. Okay, it took about a minute, so let's do launch. Project is for 1.6 English. And we're gonna open a ROM. So let's start by finding a ROM and I'll open up the website for that. Okay, so I found two of them. So let's start by downloading the world is not enough. Download this one. And let's download this one. So I'll be right back. One second. Just keep getting paused. Let's do continue. And let's open up this file till then. Now I'll come in a Z64 file. So let's extract that to my downloads folder. And let's go to stop for now. New file. Open ROM. And let's do the world's not enough. And of course, we can uh, let's use Rock Smash Pack Detected, yeah, games. And configure controller. And you can configure all the settings for what you want. And uh, so I'll set up my settings right now. Okay, I'm having a small little glitch, but that's on my computer. So let's start. So far, so good. It can be done on Max. I can full screen it. Still better graphics than Combat Arms. And the loading screens last uh, an impressive two and a half hours. Oh. Uh, is there unusual controls? Hmm. I have no clue what the controls are. Uh, crazy sensitivity, but um. And uh, Motorola phones people actually had those back then, that's cool. So, I gave a little corporate endorsement like they had in, uh, like they have in, uh, Splinter Cell. 
original. They had like all palm symbol on it. So thank you for watching.